Hi, welcome to one of our training videos for the Garmin eTrex SE. This is actually an extract from one of our videos that we have in what we call the online resource. The online resource is the GPS training online training course that you can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's packed full of videos. There's well over 20, 30 videos about how to use the Garmin eTrex SE. And this is the ones that you get free. You can sign up for a free option, but alternatively you can sign up for a premium option. And with that, you get access to all the training videos. We've actually also got an offer in place that if you get a discount code from the uh, link below, you actually also get email support as well as access to the training videos. So as you work through those videos, if you have this, what we call a bronze support package, if you have any questions about how you use Garmin eTrex SE, you also have access to our tech team who can help you through those problems. I very much hope you enjoy the video and if you can support us here at GPS Training, it would always be very much appreciated. Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're gonna show you how you calibrate the electronic three-axis compass on your Garmin eTrex SE unit. When you're walking with the unit, it uses GPS um, satellite signal to determine the way you're heading. But when you're standing still, it uses the electronic compass to align the compass up and also align the map screen up if you've got a route displayed and you're following a black line. We recommend calibrating the compass when you've moved more than 100 miles since you last calibrated it, you've changed your batteries or you've had a real sudden change in temperature. And really if you feel that when you're walking it's not lining up with the route that you've marked, maybe you don't think the compass is lining up quite right, it's not a bad thing to recalibrate the electronic compass. We have found if you put the device near something magnetic like a magnetic wristband, I have seen customers wearing something like an Apple Watch and they've rested a device on their Apple Watch and it's put the calibration of the compass out and we've had to recalibrate it, just something to bear in mind. When you calibrate the compass, we always recommend you go outside, get a satellite signal with your unit and calibrate it away from things that might interfere like electrical devices under a pylon, something like that. I'm just going to do a demonstration in sight to show you the principle, but normally when we calibrate a compass, we do it when we're outside. So we can either do it from if we went on the tracking screen and pressed OK. So if I went up to tracking, selected OK, and then just moved down to the compass. When I'm on the compass bezel, the OK button will give me the option to calibrate compass. But we do also have, if I just keep it in the back button, if we hold the back button in, it takes us to this shortcut glances screen. We also see the compass displayed there. And if I press OK and I'm on the compass screen again, pressing OK once more, I get the option calibrate compass. So if I go down to calibrate compass just using the down button, see the white arrow to the side, press OK, and it's telling me to slowly turn the unit in the direction shown with the word start. So what we normally find you do, um, or what you should do, sorry, you'll be outside with a clear view of the sky and away from anything that's going to interfere. Press OK. I normally wait a few seconds before I start and then it shows me it wants me to turn it slowly. So I'd normally just hold this, flatten my hand, turn it slowly, try not to lean it to the side as you're turning it. And it tells you that the step is complete and to press um, continue to start the next step. So that is basically pressing OK. The next step, you can see the way it wants you to turn it. So I'll just wait a couple of seconds and then I'm going to turn it as such. I'd normally just be doing this outside of my hand. And there you can see it says step complete, continue with the next step. Now I know the next step wants you to turn it either this way or that way, it doesn't seem to matter. When you're doing it, if you accidentally tip it to the side as you're doing it, you will get a fail and have to start again. So I find if I've turned it one way initially and it's failed, the next time I do it, I do it the opposite way. This is the one that I normally find I sometimes fail on. So I'm just going to press OK and I'm going to turn the unit slowly. As you can see, it's not a touch screen, so we don't have to worry about touching the screen. And it says calibration successful. So sorry, calibration successful there. Press OK. That is the electronic compass now calibrated. So I hope you found this video useful on how you calibrate the electronic compass on your eTrex SE device and thanks for watching.